Hi everyone, it's Sandy. Thank you for joining me. Not too long ago, I had shared with you a, a six by six, a simple project using a single sided paper. And it, were, it was these really fun pockets that I'd made. And I'm going to put the video to this project down below if you wanted to uh, have a look at the way I put this together and the measurements. Uh, so it's um, just a simple pocket at the top here where you can add some fun goodies, uh, a little booklet uh, or anything you like. And then down the front here is another little tiny tuck pocket in the front for a tag or a little note. And then I just added some uh, string here to decorate the side and punched a couple of holes here. Uh, so it's just a really fun little uh, quick project for your six by six paper pads. Uh, this is another one that I made and I added a little tag here on the side. Uh, so it's a cute little gift. Um, these are perfect for craft fairs. You could also stack these on top of one another and add a binder ring here to create like a little pocket booklet. And so what I decided to do in this video, I thought I'd make a uh, similar one, uh, again using 6 by 6 paper, but a mini version. And this is the one that I had made and it's just so cute. And then with the uh, other piece of 6 uh, by 6 paper that's part of the little cute pocket, I made a little uh, coordinating booklet. So it's a little pocket and booklet set which I think is a perfect way to add a little gift to uh, a packaging also makes a cute little maybe a little thank you gift for somebody and so when you open a little booklet there's a little side pocket and then I just made a little uh, like a little note card with some scrap papers and just fold that in half to place inside the little pocket here I then added some photocopying paper or printing paper to make some little pages where um, it can be used for little journaling or notes or maybe a shopping list or whatever you want to do with that part. So it's just a cute little booklet and I did some simple flat embellishing. And this is the little mini pocket, it's just so cute. And it also has a little front little pocket here as well for a tag if you wanted to put a tag. I also done the same here and added some crochet string and punched some holes just to decorate. You could also add some little bead dangles here, uh, a little tag. So this is the uh, difference in size. This is um, a full length of 6 by 6 This is half the size. Uh, so it's still the same way but just a smaller version. And if you like making little mini projects, this is um, a perfect little project to make. And I just think it's just a cute little way to gift a little pocket and a little booklet set to somebody it's also a great uh, uh, little project for crafters if you want to make one of these and um, I've also made a few more and I'm going to show you how to make this one uh, so I've made a few more of the pockets uh, for a little thank you gift to those that make purchases in my Etsy shop for the month of June um, if you have made a purchase uh, from the 1st of June, uh, your orders have already been sent and you would have missed out on this little free gift. So I'm going to send these in the mail uh, for uh, to say thank you in the mail so you don't miss out on the little pockets that I've made. So if you do make a purchase in my uh, shop, I'm going to add one of these little, little pockets with a tag to say thank you and then you can use this as a gift or you can add these into your little projects uh, so that's this is the free gift for the month of june and so i'm going to show you now how you can make um, the little pocket as well as the little uh, booklet inside as well and all you need is just one piece of six by six paper you can use double-sided or single-sided paper just grab the little scoreboard and all you're going to do is you grab your six by six paper and you're just going to simply cut your uh, six by six paper in half so you're going to get two pieces at three inches by six inches and we'll start with the little pocket first so we'll make the little pocket and just put this to the side and all you do is you grab one of your uh, three by six piece of paper and all you're going to do is you're going to fold that in half. And then you grab your scoreboard. If you don't have a scoreboard, you can just uh, 
estimate the fold line and we're going to score it at half an inch um, at the fold line where it folds here you place it on your scoreboard and score it at half an inch and if you don't have a scoreboard just sort of create a little uh, a fold just enough where it's about half an inch and then we're going to open this up and we are going to apply glue uh, to one side of the uh, part where we've made the score line we can even uh, just glue both sides it's, it's fine as well so I'm just going to glue along here the glue will come out you can use double sided tape so just keep your glue within the score line and then you want to also apply glue to the bottom And then we just fold this over. We're going to seal this part off as well as the bottom. And that should give you a little pocket up here. Oops. Like that. And then along here, um, I'm going to punch a couple of holes like I have done. And all you got to do is just grab your hole puncher. And I've made a template. I made a template here because I'm going to make a few of these for the free gift and you just want to punch a, a hole here and a hole here or wherever you like so I'm just going to use my template one and two so there are my holes and then I can add my string and then I did corner around just the top right corner just to make it a bit more decorative and if you don't have a corner rounder punch you can leave that or you could just angle cut that there with a pair of scissors and this gives you your pocket up the top and then you've got this part here I'm just going to fold this a little bit just to give it a bit of movement here on the fold and then I'm going to now add the little tiny little pocket in the front so I did cut up a little piece of scrap paper and I, I cut it three inches by about one and a quarter inch or just a little bit higher. You just decide how high you want your pocket to be. So I'm going to place it there. Actually, yes, yeah, so I'm just going to place that there. I did corner around the corner on one side, which is the left side, again, just to make it decorative. So I'm just going to sort of line it about there and this part here that overhangs you want to fold that back and this will also give you the width of your pocket and that's also going to hold your pocket in place on the side so nothing falls out on the side so I'm going to open this up now and apply glue to the part that we made the fold And then along the bottom and I'm just going to place it in the front fold that back glue the bottom down and then I'll glue the back and that gives me that little pocket there and then you've got your top pocket so that's your little pocket complete and now what we're going to do we'll make the little booklet to match the pocket so this is your other piece of three by six inches and you're going to make one score line and you want to make that score line at oops, one and three eighth of an inch so the uh, three eighth of an inch is the little mark before the one and a half inch mark so one and three eighths and that's all there is to that scoring and then we're going to fold that over and then we're going to bring this fold line to uh, meet up with this fold line and that will create your booklet So 
So when you open up, you have that pocket. And now what we're going to do, and this is up to you, I'm going to create a little angle cut here. But you can leave yours like this. You could also uh, punch a thumb notch here with a circle punch if you want to do that. But I'm just going to give it a, a little angle cut like that. Then I'm going to open this up and then apply glue to the bottom of that panel. And then seal that off. And that will now give me the little pocket. And so that's your little booklet done. You can leave it like this if you like. Or you could add some pages in here. And I've just used some photocopying paper. And um, so all I've done was just cut it. Take one so you can see. All I did was uh, just cut it to measure within inside the booklet. Um, that's all I've done here. And then I fold it in half. So I've made four sheets for the booklet. You can make as many papers as you want. And then all I've done is just fold them in half individually. So I fold one and then fold the next one, the next one, and then, then I stack them inside one another. And if you find that your papers don't line up along the edge, you just uh, cut that out evenly with a paper trimmer. And then I'm going to place the fold along the fold line of the pocket folder. Just like that. And I just grab my stapler and just staple it to keep the pages together. Just do the other side. I don't have the best stapler. <laughs> And I'm just going to give that a good crease. And there you have yourself a little pocket with some pages. Oh, sorry, a booklet with your pages as well as your little pocket to coordinate with your booklet. And that fits inside. And then you can add your string along the side here. You can add some embellishing. You can add a little tag. And that's pretty much all there is to so this cute little uh, pocket and booklet set. So I hope you enjoy this little quick fun 6x6 tutorial. And again, I will um, be having these uh, as a little free gift in my Etsy shop. Thank you for joining me and I'll see you soon. Bye for now.